when I first met Phil, you know, it was kind of an awkward situation between us. And then, you know, it's he gives you that gift Christmas. And the first gift he gave me was a book called Gone Fishing by Walter Mosley. And so, and I was like, why is he giving me this? And it had to deal with a guy who went from Houston to LA and trying to find his way. And I'm like, is he trying to tell me I don't know where I'm going? <laughs> what direction I'm heading in? So did Phil ever give you a book and say, read this with an underlined meaning behind it? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, always. And I mean, and and but you you got what he was trying to tell you, right? Yes. So that, yes. And and I used to I used to always say to him like, why why are you why do you keep giving them books if like they're not going to read them or they just leave them in their locker? Like, does not hurt your feelings? And he said it it doesn't matter. The message is always there for them. It, it may take them 10 years. It may sit on a shelf somewhere, but at some point, you know, that player will pick up that book and, you know, the message, you know, when they're ready to hear the message is yeah. when they'll get it. Right. And so it, it was interesting because when Kobe started coaching, he reached out to Phil because he was so proud of the way the girls ran the triangle. He felt that they really understood the triangle offense. And Phil went to the Mamba Academy a few times to work with them as well. And, and, you know, Kobe was just, you know, Phil was nurturing the coaching side of Kobe. He, wanted, <laughs> he knew that Kobe would be a great coach. And, uh, you know, Kobe asked to, for Phil to send them more books and more books about, um, you know, and you know that's that's how Phil, Phil's not just a coach of basketball; he's a coach of people. Like he, yeah, you know. yeah. And I didn't really understand him to after you leave. It's almost like you know, a, 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 I'm not gonna say I was a child with him, but a child, and you you talk to your parents, and they tell you, "Wait till you grow up, you understand what I'm talking about." And it didn't hit me until after I started coaching my uh, son's AAU team and understanding uh, the mindset of a coach and the mindset of players. And so I was like, okay, this is what he was talking about. You know, okay, I could be a great coach one day. It's just, but you have to have the mind, the right mindset and you got to be a, a good leader and you got to lead everybody and you have to lead everybody different ways. And so Phil was, was great at that, even though he and I never had a conversation, right. <laughs> a full on conversation, but you know, it was, it was, I got the message. And sometimes you don't need to have a conversation to get the message. Well, he, you know, I would tell you, Robert, that he, he carried that relationship with you home. Like he, he always, he felt like there was something that kept you guys from connecting and, um, you know, you can have that conversation now, mm -hmm. you know, I would, you know, put you two together because whatever conversation that you guys didn't have could be had now and it would have the same meaning to him um because he really really cared about you <clears throat> excuse me a lot i'm not gonna cry but um yeah. you know he he uh you were you were such an important part of our success and our winning and um he, he did not take you for granted yeah you know I, I think that had a lot to do with me and the reason behind me putting up a wall is because when I was with Houston, I developed that really close bond with Rudy and the front. Uh, and then all of a sudden you get traded and people don't understand when you get traded, it can mess with you mentally because it can become from, you know, open arms to putting up that wall. And for me, I always put up that wall when it came to coaches and, you know, the staff and everybody, because I didn't want to get too close because I didn't want my feelings to get involved in, all of a sudden you get traded and you don't want to be traded. Now you pissed off at the world, you know, and, and I want to uh, apologize to you when that happened to me with you guys, I was pissed off because I, I felt like I could do so much for the organization and win, but you know, I was mad because I was leaving my home, you know, and I was pissed off and I didn't want to talk to anybody. I remember um, you don't, I don't think you even know this story. I was out one night in LA and your father, um, sent somebody over to me. He says, you know, you, you know, my dad, your, your dad wants to speak to me. I said, I don't want to talk to him. I said, I, I even left the place where you were because I didn't, I was so mad. And I, and I sit back after my retirement and when I retire and I think about the relationships I didn't form because I put up that wall mm -hmm. because it happened so early in my career that it made me 
not want to become family because that's what you are, family. It did not want me to become friends with the people that could, you know, be a great part of your life. And then I just want to say thank you for allowing me back into the family and not, you know, uh, taking what happened and me like, oh, he's a he's a bad egg because I'm really the best person you will ever get to know. <laughs> well, yeah. oh, I know that, and still know that, and my dad knew that. Like that, and he's that, told that us I, that many times. So, you know, and, well, and I, I'm I'm just so glad that we have this opportunity to have this conversation because that to me is the hardest mm. thing to go through in this business is yes. like players leaving. And, you know, in my, um, the night of the ring ceremony, I purposely talked about the players who were not there that were, you know, were now on other teams and, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's difficult on both sides and and it's completely understandable why you would have felt that way, um, being traded and, um, you know, but. And, 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 you know, it's like, you should feel that, you know, uh, emotion and not discount it. But it, from where I sit and what my dad taught me is that like that, that door is always open. Like, and, and, and it was, w- w- there were no hard feelings, even if you, you know, went on and won more championships without us. 